Hi and welcome to our blog. I am Jim Cuervo, Senior Trainer here at Digital Drafting Systems. Today's topic will be printing to PDF with Revit's native PDF exporter. Printing to PDF has never been easier than with Revit's new native PDF writer exporter. With that said, let's take a look at this new native PDF exporter for, our, for Revit 2022, shall we? Okay, here in Revit, you would think that you would go to the print icon in order to achieve the export to PDF, but this isn't where we are actually going to find the specific tool that I am looking for. You see, in here, you will ha have third-party drivers like the Bluebeam PDF and the Cuddy PDF Writer, and you have all other types of printer plotters available here. This is coming really from your system printers. This is not what we're looking for. Okay, in order to find the export to PDF, we go to File, and in File, we go to the Exports, and in Exports, we go to PDF right here. With that, we select it, and we get a dialog box that's very similar to the plotting Revit, but let's study all of these options that we have available. First of all, we do not have the option to select the different drivers. So the driver that you are looking at is the driver that is specific for Revit. It is proprietary to Revit. Two, you have the export range, at which case you have the ability to export just the current view, which is of this whole thing. Let me close this for a second. And let's uh, go ahead and zoom in a little bit here. Okay. And I can go back and say, well, I don't necessarily want the current view, but I want the visible portion of the current view. That would be this one right here, and that would be selected this way. If I want to select sheets or views, 3D views or 2D views, I then select it here. At which point you see that the little editing pencil becomes available and by pressing it, I get a secondary dialog box that allows me the following. In this view right here, we have uh, multiple filters on. And that is, we are seeing 2D views, 3D views, and sheets. Okay. If we want to find something like a sheet, all we have to do is just type it, first letters or whatever it is, and it lists it for us. Basically, we're looking for, this is a becoming a search filter. Okay, if we want just 2D views, all we have to do is deselect these. Okay, obviously take off the search criteria, and then now it shows me all the 2D views. If I want just the 3D views, obviously, then I come in and I switch it. And if I just want the sheets, obviously, then we just select sheets. Let's go ahead and save it as sheets only, and let's go to create new. Create new session setting. Okay, and this is going to be called Sheets Only. And let's say OK. Very well. We have Save, and let's go ahead and select. So at this point, the Sheets Only pre-settings, um, uh, pre pre or the settings that we selected previously, are being used. So we can then have a list of different Sheet settings that we have developed to uh, go ahead and create the PDFs according to our needs by these created uh, sheets sets. Moving on, if we want to export setup, we can grab the setup and then go ahead and export it, and we can then export it to wherever we want. If we say Save As here, okay, we, we can tell the export setup that includes whether it's current view, visible view, or whatever it is, okay, what it's called, and you'll go ahead and save it. With at which time, PDF sheets only, okay, then we are able to then select it from this pull down here. Further, you can then say what the file name will be when you print it, okay. Then in this section here, it's telling you to combine or go ahead and uh, staple or set it into a one set of multiple PDFs rather than a single PDF sheets. That's what this button would do here. In this one, it gives you the location of where it's going to put it. But if you go to Browse, you can change the location rather easily to wherever you want, inclusive, my dear friends, of 
the desktop, uh, Autodesk desktop docs, which is the ability to select any project to which you want to go ahead and add these set that you are developing as PDFs to be placed. In this section in here, you will find the page size. Okay, so we'll go ahead and select the size that we need here. Uh, if you use uh, uh, use sheet sizes is the sheet size of the print of the plotter uh, as we have defined it in the sheets all right and uh, further uh, on going into this section in here this it's zoom fit uh, zoom is fit to page but if I need to make it bigger or, or or smaller I can then select here and select the percentage of the size you notice that it's not really talking about scale it's about the percentage of the magnification of this so it's if 50 percent uh, magnified which would make it smaller or 200 ma uh, uh, 200 uh, percent larger which would make it double the size that's what this section is here in here is as far as the paper placement this is very similar to the uh, AutoCAD uh, origi origin offset from printing that's what is we're talking about in here in which case if you have a very specific placement for it uh, whether it's off to the left to the right then you go ahead and, and modify it in here as far as the orientation by default is set to automatic which is usually set up by the sheet itself coming down here to the appearance this is more for rasters the rasters are going to be high quality okay and they could be in black lines colors or gray scales now if it's a raster image it's going to always be in gray scale if you choose black lines so these two are going to give you gray scales in what basically a render uh, image inside your sheet set or your view and this one is going to give you color of the same okay the rest as far as raster quality high high fidelity or low fidelity or presentation quality as far as creating output using vector processing rather than raster processing the reason you really want to use this is because this becomes easier for uh, programs like AutoCAD to go ahead and convert the PDF back into uh, DWGs if that is the case and secondly uh, or rather lastly we have the options where you say you have the ability to view links in blue colors so for when printing only to hide the ref work planes okay uh, the X reference hide the on reference view view tags which are the tags that are not uh, being attached you have your region edge mask uh, co coinciding lines in other words it won't pre it will go ahead and print that it allows you to hide the scope boxes or the crop boundaries which is a very very uh, useful little tool especially when you forget to hide those and then you have re the replace half tones with thin lines in order to save some ink when you actually go ahead and print the PDF that my friends is native PDF printing slash exporting in Revit 2022 this has been James Cuervo senior trainer here at digital drafting systems wishing you a safe and happy day thank you for watching